Crane, thanks for giving us some time today. Appreciate it. Um, this year, will you come in and you know your position as safety? There's no, like, where are you going to be corner or safety? How much will that help you in year two? And what is the kind of the, the sky for this defense? What is, the, what is the possible for this defense in year two with Coach Fangio? Uh, I think it'll help me out a lot. Um, being as though now I can just lock in on safety and getting better at, you know, different things. I mean, obviously I know the defense and the calls, but it's uh, for me it's about taking that next step and just basically learning, you know, uh, the little things and paying attention to the little details that can help me take my game to a, another level and, um, and and possibly help some other guys around me. And, you know, um, as far as the defense, you know, um, um, very confident in, in our group. Uh, I think we had a great group last last year. And in addition of some of the guys that we added, AJ Boye, um, you know Jarrell, and um, you know I, I think getting you know, obviously getting Chubb back also. You know um, that was a great pickup for us. And like I said, getting Chubb back, I think you know the, for us it's the sky's the limit. We just got to be willing to go out and put the work in, and we got to be able be able to go out and, you know, play as a cohesive unit and, and, and execute, you know, um, you know, every time we're out there. Next, we've got Ryan O'Hallen with the Denver Post, followed by Mike Kliss. Ryan, go ahead. Your line's unmuted. Hey, Kareem. Since we last visited, uh, you, you have sat out the last two games of this season. Um, how disappointing was it to go through that and, and watch the team play those last two games? Uh, it was very disappointing. Um, Obviously, for me being a competitor that I, competitor that I am, you know, and um, with that being a, a self-inflicted issue, you know, um, and I just kind of felt like I, I let the guys down, you know. Uh, but for me, it was uh, great to go ahead and get that done. It's just to, you know, kind of get put it behind me and, and, and to move forward, you know. But you know, uh, it was obviously it obviously sucked not being out there with the guys and being able to compete with them, you know, for the last two games. But you know. Um, I mean, obviously, it's a, it's a mistake. And like I said, uh, I'm, I'm just so glad to put it behind me and just move forward. Next, we got Mike Kliss, 9 News, followed by Nikki Javala. Mike, go ahead, please. And what, um, you know, what he's going through right now, have you been able to talk to him and, and how's he doing? Can you say that again? I'm sorry, you kind of cut out. Yes, uh, could you just talk about Justin Simmons with the franchise tag? Have, have you been able to stay in in touch with him? And and do you think uh, they should pay the guy? Yeah, I've, uh, <laughs> Justin's one of the guys that I talk to pretty much every day. Um, me and him have a great relationship outside of football. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think everybody on this call right now thinks he should get paid, you know, I um, mean, obviously – you know, with the the franchise tag, and hopefully they get a job, uh, deal done, you know, before the deadline. But um, I mean, I mean, he, I, I think his his work is, you know, what he does on the field is self explanatory, you know. But uh, he's in great spirit, you know. Uh, just knowing we'll get him back, you know, whether he he'll have a long term deal or you know, uh, I'm sure he won't want it. It's just that stability when with having that long term deal, as opposed to playing a, on a one year, you know. Um, under the tag, but um, I mean, I have no doubt that he can go out and, and have the same year or even better year that he had this year. You know, um, that's that's he's he's definitely one of the uh, one of those guys that's the heart and soul of our defense. And you know, um, I mean, and he's a leader. He's great in the locker room. But um, I mean, he's in great spirits, and you know, um, I just hope you know they get a, a deal done for him. Next, we've got Nikki Javala followed by Andrew Mason. Nikki, go ahead. Your line's unmuted. Kareem, what have you been doing with the shutdown just to stay in shape and maintain your training? And then how have the virtual meetings been going with the with the secondary? Um, I've been able to train, you know, um, as though, you know, nothing's been shut down. Um, I had a little private gym that I've been uh, able to go to here in Houston. Um, and the trainer there have been taking us, you know, pretty much one at a time. He's been closed to the public, but just taking, you know, um, uh, it's NFL guys and it's baseball guys one at a time throughout the day. So um, with the start of meetings, I usually get up about 6.15. I work out about 7.15, 7.30. Uh, and usually back home and, uh, and, and enough time to jump on meetings. But um, I think the virtual meetings have been going pretty good. Uh, they've been running pretty smoothly. We've been able to get, you know, things done as though 
as if we was in in meetings. Uh, I actually told the coaches, I say, I think for the first two phases of OTAs, we should do this. That way everybody can stay home and, you know, do whatever we need to do and then come in and, you know, we just practice in, in phase three or uh, in mini camp. But, um, I mean, it's, it's been going pretty good. I think it's been very productive for us. Next, we've got Andrew Mason, DNVR, followed by James Palmer. Andrew, go ahead. Your line's unmuted. Kareem, what are some of the specific things that y'all need to do better as an entire defense to allow the D to reach its potential this year? Um, first and foremost, I mean, I always think tackling can get better. You know, there's always some aspects in, 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 in certain games in, in which you, you miss tackles. So I think we can always tackle better. Um, execution wise, you go back and look at some of the games and some of the close games that we lost, you know, and it, it might have been one or two plays here and there. You think about that Minnesota game when second half defensively, we just completely just, you know, lost our minds. So um, always execution, you know, tackling, you know, um, just just everybody just, you know, kind of honing in and, and, and paying attention to the little details and, and us all being on the same page when they secondary wise. So um, I, I feel as though uh, we had a, a, a decent year in our first year in Coach Fangio's uh, defense, but it's, it's all about taking that next step. So um, that's what I'm looking forward to with the guys that we have. I think we have the right group. So it's, it's, it's up to us to go out and put the work in. Next, we've got James Palmer, NFL Network, and we've got time for a couple more after that. James, go ahead. Your line's unmuted. Kareem, I'm curious, going back to the start of your career, you had to be a corner to come in and play right away. And I remember you getting a lot of heat and, and a lot of pressure was on you starting right away. So what advice can you give and, and what were the difficulties there? And the advice can you can give if a guy has to come in on your squad right now and start right away as a corner, as a rookie? Um. I mean, it's, I feel like it's, it's always a learning curve, you know, um, and, and it's for me when I came in and, and even now I tell the young guy, it's all about growth and progression. You know, um, every day you got to go out there, you got to want to get better. You know, um, you, like I said, I, I, I got, like you said, I got through right in the fire. Uh, when a whole lot of guys in that DB room that, you know, um, kind of took me and grabbed me by my hand and it's like, look, this how you do this, right? So I just kind of had to figure out on my own. You know, uh, Glover Quinn was, you know, uh, who, who's still like one of my best friends. You know, um, he helped me out uh, a lot my rookie year. And, but he was only a second year player. So he was still trying to figure it out himself. So, um, but uh, I just tell him, I mean, you just got to take the good with the bad. And, you know, you got to go out there every day with a purpose and that's to get better. You know, um, it, it's, you're going to get beat. That's, you know, that's just comes with the game. That's the position. We, you're playing corner in, in the NFL. The guys are going to go get some good guys. You're going to go get some veteran guys that's going to know a lot more than you. So you just got to, just got to, uh, you know, take the punches. And, and it's all about growth and progression. You know, you got to still keep that confidence in yourself and, you know, know what you're there for. Next, uh, Ryan O'Hallon with the Denver Post, followed by Zach Stevens. Ryan, go ahead, please. Hey, Kareem, you played with A.J. Boye for four years in Houston. You're in the same division with Jarrell Casey forever. What are those two guys going to bring to the field and, and the locker room? Um, um, like you said, I played with A.J. for four years. Uh, I know what he's capable of. I, I've seen him since day one when he got in this league. You know, he's a young kid, got a UCF, and um, – he, he was always talented, you know, and, and then once he kind of put the mental aspect to it, you know, his game kind of took off and, you know, he, and he was rewarded for that. So um, he, he's capable. He's very capable. He can, he can do it all. He can press, he can play off, you know, he's a good tackler, you know, um, and he, he's one of those guys, if he needed to, he could follow. So um, just looking forward to reuniting with him on the field. I haven't played with him in a while, you know, um, haven't been able to prepare with him. So uh, just looking forward to it to see how much he's progressing that in those two categories and, and seeing him on a day-to-day -day basis and seeing how much we can help each other and learn from each other and, and, and help the younger guys. And um, as, far, as far as Jarrell, you know, um, like I said, I, I've seen him for numerous years and, and just seeing him and some of the things he did, you know, versus versus us when I played with, with Houston, you know, he was always a game changer. He always cor corrected the game and he made a ton of plays. So, um, just being able to play with both of those guys, uh, AJ again, and having Jarrell here now and, and being on the same team with him, man. Uh, just just super excited and excited what they bring to our defense and our team in the locker room with their leadership. 
Zach Stevens, go ahead. You're And Jeff Legwald, you're on deck. Zach, go ahead, please. Hey, Kareem, how excited were you to see the Broncos draft an Alabama player in the first round? And what uh, what does he bring uh, to threaten opposing defenses? Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, being as though I was the only Alabama guy, and to add another one, you know, um, especially with me knowing, you know, how those guys are groomed there, you know, um, I mean, I'm very excited, excited for him and his family. And, you know, uh, to to have him on our on our offense, to, for him to be as explosive as he is, and um, I think it's going to be great for our team. You know, I have a young, talented guy to go alongside. You know, uh, court and 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 what he possesses. You know, uh, so it's it, it's it's going to be exciting to to see about like, throwing those guys the ball. Um, should be exciting uh, to practice against them as well. You know, we're going to have to choke them out a little bit, but. Um, get them ready for, for the games on Sunday. But it, it, it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, and, and like you said, I'm super excited. Next, we've got Jeff Legwald. And then the final two will be Mike Kliss and Nikki Javala. Jeff, go ahead and ask your question, please. Uh, Kareem, I'm just wondering, if, have you given much thought of about how you would feel safe playing games? Or have you talked with the other guys? I mean, what, what do you think needs to happen to play games? Um, I, I just think, for us, uh, it doesn't make sense to to play any games unless it's completely 100% safe for us to go out there. You know, um, if is, it, is there any threat of us being able to uh, contract COVID of of any way and and spread it? You know, obviously with to our families or anybody else that we're around, it, it just doesn't make sense. You know, um, I think I heard them saying something about us playing and no fans and all that. Um, that'd be like practice. So in my opinion, that would suck. But um. But I, I just – just talking with some of the guys, it, it just doesn't make sense to go play any games unless it's 100% safe for us to go out there. Mike Kliss, your line's unmuted. Go ahead, please. Yeah, Kareem, uh, the Broncos didn't sign a safety in free agency, didn't draft one. Um, Trey Marshall ready for that number three safety spot, kind of the, the Will Parks uh, spot, you think? I think he is. Um with me being out those last two games, I think he stepped in. I think he did some good stuff. Uh, I think he showed some signs. So, um, with him playing the way he did those two games, that would probably be the reason why we didn't sign or draft anybody. So, uh, I'm very confident in what he can do. Uh, he has a ton of talent. Um, and I think he showed that in the last two games. So, um, going into um, year three, I think, you know, for him, it, it, it'd be great, you know, you go in the in camp and, and take some more steps and show some more signs, and you know, so everybody else can be confident around him. But I think, I think, you know, he's ready for that, for that role. Last one, Nikki Javala. Nikki, go ahead, please. Kareem, just from a defensive perspective, um, how do you think Drew Locke handled his first five starts and what do you think he's capable of in year two? Uh, I think he handled himself well. Um, to go four and one in his first five starts. Um, I mean, uh, when you guys say he handled himself well, uh, especially to go into Houston to, and to play where he played and um, in the rest of the game as well. So um, I'm sure he'll come in and he'll be um, ex extremely excited. They added some big pieces on offense uh, with signing Melvin Gordon and, and drafting the two receivers earlier. So, early uh, first and second round. So um, I, I'm thinking he's excited. I think he would be extremely excited. And um, I know I'm looking for him to do some great things this year, uh, especially going 4-1 in his first start. So I'm, I'm eager to see him step in and be the guy day one and see the way he'll progress throughout practice and, and the way he'll get better and, you know, just progressing throughout the year and, and just leading his team, you know. Um, I mean, I think he has that type of capability that he can go out and he can be a big time leader for us and he can go out and, and, and make some things happen on Sunday for us and put some points up. Hey, Kareem, we appreciate you taking the time to, to call in and speak with the local media. Uh, we look forward to catching up with you when you're back in Denver, man. So thanks for No problem. Thanks, thanks for having me. You guys stay safe.